it's Sam. So today I'm going to be showing you kind of doing like a little demonstration of how I list my clothes and accessories bags on Poshmark. So if you're not familiar with Poshmark, it's a app that you can download. I will leave the link down below so that you guys can go and download it. And it's amazing because it's a great way for you guys to not only sell your items that you maybe just don't love anymore. They've, you've used them a few times, you haven't worn them forever. You can sell, make a little extra money. We're all looking for ways to make a little extra money, or at least I always am. So, I mean, I'm assuming everyone else is. You can also buy stuff on there as well. So it's gently used. Some stuff is new. Some stuff is new with tags. Some stuff has been loved a little bit more, but still is in really great condition. There's so many different things on this app. I mean, you can get free people, you can get Tory Burch, you can get Ted Baker, you can get Gucci. I mean, there's just everything you could think of, but it also has brands like Old Navy, Target, H&M, Zara. I mean, there's just so many different options for you guys to purchase. So whether you are a shopper and you just want to get some really great deals, some things are up to 70% off of what you would pay for retail. Or if, like I said, you want to make a little extra money and you want to sell some of your own items, whether it's kids clothes, your husband's clothes, your own clothes, shoes, bags, whatever it is, you can make a little extra money. They keep it's super simple. It's really, really easy to use. Very user friendly, whether you're buying or you're selling. I mean, it's just like so chill to use. I love the app. I used it a few years. I think I started using it in like 2000 and 15 or 16. I've had the app for a while and I've sold, I mean, I go through spurts where like I'll sell a ton and then I'll like obviously have nothing else to sell because I sold it all. You know how it goes. You buy stuff and then you think you're going to wear it a ton and you end up not and it sits there in your closet and it's taking up all your room and then you're like, why is this taking up all my room? I'm never going to wear it. Sometimes you just got to let it go and say goodbye. Let someone else love it instead. It's so sad when clothes are just sitting in your closet and you're not using them and you're just like, I'm sorry, friend. Today I'm going to be showing you guys all of my little tips of how I list, what I like to use, my packaging supplies, where I get it, everything's gonna be linked down below. I'm gonna go ahead and leave my Poshmark link or handle down below so that you guys can go and follow me on there. And then if you guys wanna comment with your Poshmark name in the comments down below, then I will go ahead and follow you back since you guys came over here and watched this video. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a few of the things that I have listed on my Poshmark in this video and then I'm gonna walk through every step that I do to list them and kind of how easy the app is to use. It's very user friendly. If you're someone who like, you know, just can't, I'm, I'm not that good with that kind of stuff. I mean, I can't even like figure out how to print stuff on the, on the printer. I'm terrible. Like I'm so bad. Luckily Jay is very good. So he helps me with all that kind of stuff. Like I couldn't even get the printer to work. I'm so terrible at that kind of stuff. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into kind of like all the stuff, all my tips and tricks of how to list. I don't know where I'm going to prop you up, but I'm going to show you like how I, how I put position everything to list it. And then I'll talk you through each step of the app. Okay, so I basically just have my little closet door out here and I am so pale right now, you guys. I haven't self-tanned or anything. I'm not like super particular about like steaming it or anything. When you have a lot of stuff to list, like that would take a long time. So I kind of just have it so that it's like set up here. It's on a nice wire hanger. This is what the app looks like right here. So I'm gonna open it up and then it takes you to this screen right here. So to kind of give you like your little storefront and then that's where you have like all of your listings and everything. So to sell, you're gonna press this middle button right here, which, sh which shows you your pictures and then you can choose your pictures here. So that's usually how I'll do it. So I actually take the pictures first and then I can go back in and choose all of the different pictures. I just find it to be easier that way. So I take pictures of each item and list it as I go versus taking all of the pictures at one time. It's confusing because then I have to like look at each tag, what size is it, where is it from? So let me just take you exactly through the step of exactly how I do it. But now you know what the app looks like. So it's just called a posh mark. You wanna make sure that it's on square because if it's not on square, um, it'll, cr it'll cut off your thing because that's how it posts is square. So I stand far enough back, to, I'm like, you're not even gonna be in the frame here, but I, even if I have to sit on the bed, then I'll sit on the bed. There's my picture. So I've stood back and the lighting is good and I don't ever wanna filter. 
I, unless your lighting is really, really dark, then you might want to brighten it up. But for me, I just try to get like as real as lighting as possible when you're selling stuff. It's not like your Instagram where you can lighten it up and put filters. You want to like try and get the true color. So if your lighting is dark and it's not showing true color, then brighten it. But if it's like, you know, you can kind of pretty much see what it is, then I, I usually don't um, have to brighten anything up. So I have my first picture. So I always do the first picture so that it's like on the hanger. Then I'm going to switch it around so that I can get the back. Sometimes I'll hold it if it's not that long, but since this is very long, <gasps> and make sure I get the whole thing in. I usually just lay it right on my bed here. And then this is where I'm gonna get close up and take pictures of the detailing. So I take it of the actual label. It's crooked right now, hold on. And then I'll get like the sleeves. and then a kind of detail of the flower. So then once you have your pictures, you wanna really have a good look at like all of the material and you wanna like note if you have like a little mark somewhere or if you have a little snag so that you can point that out on your actual Poshmark listing so that you don't surprise someone when they get it and they're like, oh, there's a stain right there. Like if you see a little stain but you still think it's not that noticeable, you should definitely point it out so that people know. And I always like to get the tag, that way people can see who is it by and what the size is. Select all of my pictures. They allow you to take up to eight. Then I'm gonna go next. And then you can, this is when you can choose to crop everything, but I just take it so that I know exactly what it looks like anyway, so I don't have to crop it. Then it will ask you if you wanna filter it. I never filter it because I wanna just show exactly what it looks like. So then you can select your cover shot. So I always just make sure that like the picture that I took first is the one I want to show. So then I go next. Then it will say, oh, you can add your filters. So you can like do this, but I just, I don't think that's necessary. So I just go to original, depending on your lighting. If your lighting is bad, you might want to brighten it up. Then you just go next. Then this is where you can post all of your information about it. The very first thing it says is, what am I selling? So this is where I would put H and M times Coachella kimono. Then it says describe it. So then that's where you can put like a little blurb about what this item is. So I'm gonna put long kimono from H and M <coughs> times Coachella bought in the UK. It is a size extra small. And then I usually put something to do with the condition. So I would say great condition because it's still in really good condition looks new and let's see there's like you want to go into more detail i just find that people are going to look at the pictures they're going to do a little skim over your description but you don't want to write an essay i mean i'm one of those people that if i see a ton of words i just don't even want to look i just look at the picture so um i try to keep it like pretty you know just pretty basic so then it goes to category so with category you can choose all of these different ones you can choose accessories, dresses, intimates. So there's all of these different options. So for kimono, what would I do for that? I think I'm probably just gonna put it under other because it doesn't give you kimono option. Then you can do quantity. So that would be if you are like, if you have a ton of the same thing, like if you're a boutique, for example. So if you have four kimonos that are exactly the same, then you'll put multiple, but this is just one. Then you would put your size, so you can add your custom size right here, or you can just, um, oops, you can put one size, which that's not what it was. I'm customizing mine. <clears throat> brand is where you can go and search for the brand, and usually they're really good about pulling right up, so I just typed an H and then H&M came up, so that, <clears throat> that goes there. Then for color, this one is a bit tricky. There's a lot of kind of red in it, so I'm just gonna choose red, because I'm I usually go with the most predominant color, and then new with tags is if you still have the tags on, I don't have the tags on that, so I'm gonna put no. Original price, this is really tricky because I don't ever remember how much each, spe each specific individual item is. So if you're listing a ton of things and you've had it for a while and you're like, I don't know what I spent, I just put zero unless I know for a fact I have a receipt, like I'm listing a coach bag. I know I, I know I bought it for $150, so I put $150 there. But if you're not really sure what you paid, I just put zero. I don't think it's really gonna make that much of a difference, but you just do what you wanna do. And then you're gonna do your listing price. So I usually try to figure like, okay, so I probably paid, I'm guessing 20 bucks for this, maybe 24.99. Usually like something like that would be, I try to figure out like, 
If I were to buy this today in a retail store, how much would it sell for? I'm assuming it'd probably be about $24.99 or $20. Bucks. So I'm just going to list it for $10. You want to make it so that people are getting a deal. You don't want it to be like super expensive where they could just go and buy it in the store. So you want to make sure that it's like worth people's time. So it says the price, it says what it is, it says the size and all that kind of good stuff. And then people can click on the listing and then they can see all of the different pictures and everything like that so that oh and then also in your description box you definitely want to say um if the snaggle is in there then put the picture in there as well and then say stain on left arm as seen in picture so that people can be like oh where is the stain and then they can go and check that picture so that's basically how i list it's super easy like i said it's not hard it's just time consuming because obviously i have like here's my pile over here there's my pile of things so I have a lot of stuff to list. So that's what I mean as far as like, it's not a difficult job to do. It's just, the, it's just the matter of taking the time. So what I love about it is that when you, when someone does like your listing, it'll show you in news right here and it'll say, um, someone added the Tory Burch clutch to their bundle. Someone is following you. Someone like your listing. And it gives you all of the details of like what people are doing to your listings. And then it does tell you when someone has bought one of your listings, it also emails you so that you can get an email and then it sends you off the little label. The label is super easy. You basically, all of the shipping is the same. So you don't have to deal with any of the shipping as far as prices or anything. It's just a set standard rate for Poshmark. So then basically it emails you saying so-and-so has bought your item and then you print off the shipping label. You package each item that they purchased and sometimes they'll do a bundle where like you can put it all into one thing the one that I sold, for example, yesterday was just one item. So I put it in there. I wrote a little thank you note, which I'll show you guys um, the packaging and I'll, I'll link everything down of like where I purchased my packaging because I feel like packaging is important. It should look nice. And I always like to make sure that I have like a handheld, why do I keep saying handheld? A handwritten note just to let people know like, hey, I appreciate you. You took the time to look at my closet and you purchased something from me and I wanna let you know that I appreciate that you purchased something from my closet. So I always like to write a little handwritten note just to thank my person, whoever bought the item. And then I package it nicely and then get it sent off. If someone purchases that day, I try to get it off sent either that day or the following day just so that they can get it as quick as possible. Um, but yeah, as far as the shipping label goes, you just print it out, you get it stuck on sticky paper. If you don't have sticky paper, tape it on. Um, and then whack it on the thing and take it to your post office and that's all you have to do. You don't have to worry about weighing it or anything, it's already done. If for some reason you are selling shoes or a bag and you feel like this is quite heavy, put the label on, take it into your post office if you're concerned about that specific one, have them weigh it just to double check that you don't owe any more. And then if you do, you'd have to pay it extra there. But you definitely want to make sure that if you feel like it's going to be quite heavy, just double check just to be sure. So that's kind of basically the gist of how I like to list everything. So now that I have done that, that listing is up. Then I just keep it back on the hanger and then I'm just gonna go ahead and let that sit in there until it sells. So far I have listed this A New Day t-shirt. I have a Wild Fable little button up shirt. I have another Wild Fable button up like little tie kind of bell sleeve shirt. I have this little white dress. I actually wore this to my nanny's. I think it was her 80th birthday party. Um, then I have this Wild Fable kind of flannel shirt. Um, a jumpsuit from Exhilaration from Target, and then this Coachella kimono. So that's what I have listed so far. So now I'm gonna be working on this H&M skirt, which is really beautiful. Um, and I was like so in love with it, but it just didn't look right on my body. So this actually still has tags on it. Retail price, 50 bucks. But I never wore it, because it made me look really short. <laughs> so I also wanted to show you just like my little section here for like packing materials. So these ones I just ordered. I have some of these left over from when I sold a couple of years ago. Um, they're not necessarily my favorite design so I'm just kind of <laughs> using those up for now since I still have some left over. These are great for like really big ones because they're 14 by 17 and I just got these ones on Amazon. I also have these little small ones. Um, this is for like if it's like a small little jewelry piece or something like that. Um, so those are also from Amazon and then 
These I just recently got from Amazon. One day shipping, my friends. Holy, no, I'm sorry, it was same day shipping. So these ones are, um, I think I got a pack of 100 for like 13 bucks or something. These are the 10 by 13. So ideally, um, the big ones are great, but I thought these would be really good for like Lily's clothes because hers are obviously a little bit smaller, so I can just sl slip those right into there. I have some other ones that I'm waiting on. They're gonna come on Wednesday. Um, and then in here, I just have little, these are just like little packaging, um, it's like little bubble wrap. I got these from Amazon as well. Um, here I got these from Amazon, it's just like a bunch of different succulent thank you cards. I'll link these down below for you guys if you need thank you cards. It was such a good deal. I think I got like, let's see, 36 thank you cards and I think it was $9 or something. I'll show you all the designs, they're so cute. So it says that, thank you so much, thank you, thanks. You're the best and thank you. And they're all little cactus and succulents. So those are really cute. I think that always makes it so nice when you have that little handwritten note, especially when it's something cute like this. Um, you know, it just shows that you put a little effort into it and you appreciate the person purchasing from you. So I think this is always a really nice touch. Over here, I have these little, um, these are like great for jewelry. They're like the little mesh baggies. And then I have like more of that kind of stuff in there. Um, that stuff's just kind of random. Then I have like my little uh, fluff removers, scissors, my pen, a scale. I don't use that anymore, but you never know sometimes if it's gonna be heavy, that one's kind of good to have. And then in here, I just have like extra little things that I, I'll just include in a package. So like each package, I'll include like one little extra bonus. And it's not something that I list on my Poshmark. It's just something to say like, hey, thank you, I appreciate it. I just get so many products. Um, like extra products that I'm not gonna use and so I always save them for my followers for like this kind of stuff or like when I do giveaways. Um, so that's kind of nice. So it's just like, you know, if you receive a random little lipstick, then this is where it comes from. And then over here, I just have all of my tissue paper so that I wrap everything in tissues. They have a really good selection on Amazon. So if you ever need like little packing bags, these are great if you're gonna just gonna be doing clothes because they're just a nice little thin um, baggy and then it's not super bulky, you don't have to tape up any boxes, it's just like the little sticker that you rip off and then you close it up. So those are really great if you're gonna be selling just clothes solely and that's it. Um, and then like I said, if you're gonna be doing jewelry or something, these little ones are great because they're small. And then I just always recommend getting the little bubble wrap if it is gonna be jewelry or makeup, just protect it so that it's a little bit more um, padded. Huge thank you to Poshmark for sponsoring this video. And again, if you guys want to shop my closet, then please do so. I'll leave the link down below, but it's just Sam Sherman. You can just search Sam Sherman on Poshmark. It's S-A-M-S-C-H-U-E-R-M-A-N. I do have a ton of stuff for Lily uh, listed on there already. I have some shoes, I have some accessories, and then of course I'll have a ton of clothes that I'm gonna be listing today. So go and check it out. There's a lot of stuff on there and I really try to keep the prices very affordable and like very reasonable. So hopefully you guys will find some things that you like and if you don't, that's okay. Maybe you'll be inspired to sell your own. Okay guys, so there is my tips and tricks on how to list and make a little extra money on Poshmark. For me, if someone's gonna buy something from me, especially if it's one of you guys of my followers, I want you guys to know that like I took my time, that I put effort into it, that it looks nice, it's presentable, and also to make sure that I get it out quick. Like if someone purchases, I wanna try and get it out that day, if it's a weekday, of course. Weekends are harder because obviously on the weekends, I've got the kids home, we're out and about, we're doing stuff. But if it's on a weekday, if you order on a weekday, Chances are it'll either be shipped out that afternoon if you do it in the morning or the following morning because I want you guys to get it as quick as possible. And so make sure that if you are gonna be selling that you have that same mindset. These people have trusted you with their money. They're purchasing your items and they don't wanna wait around. Nobody wants to wait around for their stuff to get here. So I try to be as fast as I possibly can. Thank you guys, I love you so very much. Don't forget to follow me and then comment down below who you are as well so I can follow you back. Okay, love you, bye.